So at Live of the D, we are all about championing, championing our local businesses. And while many are having to close until things sell down during these uncertain times, you can still support them by shopping online. That's right. And one woman who discovered her creative outlet in her garage is now adding special decorative touches to homes far and near. Her handmade work caught the attention of architects and interior designers across the country. And you can purchase her creations without leaving home. You can do it online. Michelle Oliver shows us how <clears throat> Matawi Tile in Ann Arbor makes the magic happen. What started off in Noel Motawi's garage has now grown to over 12,000 square feet and over 20 employees, all with one goal, to make beautiful, one-of-a-kind tiles. You start out very spread out and the piles are kind of low and then as you, you know, as you fill the place up, the shelves get stacked higher and higher and pretty soon you're working and it feels like canyons. <laughs> and so when the garage was canyons, it was time to move. And even though they're now a much bigger operation, they still hand make every tile. I started Matawi with this idea that I wanted to make a certain kind of tile for a living. All Motawi tiles begin as pugs. No, not the dogs. These bricks of clay, which are made just a mile down the street. These are each 25 pounds. They put the pugs, along with the scraps, into this machine, which grinds, compresses, and cuts the clay. Then they spray their unique plaster molds with water and then pump air through the plaster to allow the clay to easily release from the mold. First I put the air network on the top and it releases the clay from the top and then I put the air network on the bottom and you just slide it off and we have some tiles. Next they cut off the excess clay and put aside the extras. After a quick trip through the kiln, they are hard and ready to glaze. Just need a quick rinse to wash off the dust. We're bulb glazers and we use bulb syringes with the glazes that we use on fuel tile. But we use it to fill in the little spaces that were made by the pressers. Think paint by numbers. After they carefully inlay the paint between the grooves, they bake the tiles in the kiln at extremely high temperatures transforming the tiles into vibrant pieces of art. You know, some days you'll open the kiln and the glaze application was perfect and the temperature, firing temperature was just, <laughs> just, and they just look even better than usual. And the quality of her tiles isn't Motawi's only concern. She cares about her employees as well. It's a quality of life thing. I want to be around people that are fun to be around, that are really good at what they're doing. Uh, they get along really well, it's really important. They have monthly birthday parties. Happy birthday to you. And will even shut down productions early to celebrate an employee's success. It's better business to take care of your people because truly they take care of the customers. And throughout all her success, she never once thought about leaving Michigan. I don't even think seriously about going anywhere. But you can see her tiles all across the country. Every once in a while, someone from town says, oh, Noelle, I saw your tile in you know, the De Young Museum in San Francisco, and I thought, oh, I know that tile, and I know her. And it makes them really happy <laughs> to tell me that, which I think is adorable. <laughs> Matawi Tiles offers tours and classes, but for now, those are on hold. However, you can take a virtual tour of all that they have to offer and purchase tiles via their website. And to learn more about all the great places to shop in Ann Arbor, go online to allaboutannarbor.com, which is made possible by our sponsors, Wallside Windows and Concordia University in Ann Arbor, as well as Destination Ann Arbor and Ann Arbor Spark.